villains and a uh, and spanning tree when you start triangling between all switches you know all switches are root switches all switches declare as the root switches in a primary state look at this three switches that I um, that I just linked up each other so obviously it's this 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 switch has uh, one of the um, one of the looks like it's a block state um, zero F is zero one okay what I, what it's happening is like show interface F A spanning tree film one what is the F is zero one it's a block state block state and then when you're looking at the show spanning tree VLAN one status, there's a root ID. Root ID is the bridge root root bridge ID, which is if you look at the MAC address 001-9657-AC65. And this is by itself in VLAN one. This Bridge ID is 0030F260 CD CED5. But obviously this MAC address not belongs to this switch. So who is the root, root bridge? Well, let's find out. As the theory said, the root bridge has as all des designated ports. So obviously this switch doesn't have designated port. It's only have root port. Root ports face to the designated port. Root port face to the uh, root root bridge. So who is the root bridge in these three switches? So let's find out. Show spanning tree VLAN one. Why I type the VLAN one is because VLAN one is a management VLAN. Okay, uh, F is 0, 1, F is 0, 2. One is destination port, one is root port. For sure, root port, like I said, root port is face to the, face to the root bridge. So who's the root bridge? This is obviously, this switch has one destination port, but obviously it is not the root, root, root bridge. So, look at that, this root bridge at MAC address, root ID. 001-9657-AC65 Keep in mind that Okay Show VLAN Show spanning tree VLAN 1 Look at this MAC address 001-9657-AC65 Root ID and bridge ID are the same They are the same So this switch is the root Root bridge Okay So root ID and bridge ID is the same this switch has two designated ports. It obviously, this is a root switch. But the problem is, the problem is like, s look at those priority. Three, two, seven, six, nine. Three, two, seven, six, nine. 32769 all 32769 priority are the same only MAC address are they are the different so we need to uh, there is no redundant link because this port on switch 1 FE01 is blocked so to have a redundant links and and also to solve the broker strong MAC address Table stability, like I said here, STP comes in. See, if you decided one of one of these switches, one of these switches need to be the root root bridge. So, and also you need to have uh, the the redundant link. You need to configure um, configure spanning tree VLAN priority like the way that I did um, here for all the SWAC3 switch uh, I use spanning tree VLAN 22 33 44 99 priority 4096 4096 is the lowest so 
So this was just a root, 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 root bridge. Uh, let's see. So we did see this. This is in in server mode. So we TB status. Client mode. In transparent mode. Client mode. So I'm going to type. Okay, show VLAN. This one is 223399, uh, 4499, also 1, 2. And this one is 2233 This is in transparent mode. 2233 Let's add 1. This is a root bridge. Also, uh, like I said, this is in server mode. Server mode. Uh, server mode. So, uh, show VLAN. And then let's add one more VLAN. Okay. VLAN 66. Name. My own. Exit. So, you know what happened? This is server mode. Look at this. Show VLAN. It's already updated my own, okay? But except the switch in transparent mode, never updated. Whatever it happened, it's a VD according to the VDP rules. The, those switches are under same domain, okay? It's not updated. It's no 66. Six six. Thank you for super. Let's uh, please read those some of the tips for configurations and theories. I use. Thanks.